and good morning people. Welcome back to Dragon Quest 11. We are making our way through the Heliodorian uh, uh, dungeons to reach its castle to take on the usurper. We can probably guess who that's likely to be considering who we've got with us and who sent us. But, as always, we really should go there and check. We do have Hendrik with us. We are heading in. And, well, we might as well face the Hocus Poker, which is new. They're not strong, but it's new. We have carried the day. And now that we face one, we can ignore it because we're not getting enough experience per fight. There's no point fighting more than one unless it's directly in our way. But we're now in the castle. There are actually quite a few things to pick up. If I can remember where they are. Well, there's one. Platinum sword. So that's great. I don't need to build one if I want a single-handed sword. Devils in the details. Demon's banes, demon spears, demon whips. Devil's Tales, so lots about uh, lots of demon stuff. National Treasures number one zero six, the Shield of Heliodor. You done Strinead Secrets of the Heart. I I think that's the second one of those we've actually seen of that particular book, so it might be something for later. And well, a couple more hocus pocus. We don't need to worry about those. And kitchen. It's a bit. It's a bit messy at the moment. I wouldn't want to uh, cook in here. Pantry's not looking like it's got had had any better days either. Three doses of special medicine, though. What is special medicine? Um, if I can get my things in the right place. 90 hit points to a single ally. That's not a bad one. Considering I've got, what, 300, it's okay. Oh, where did you come from? I guess we've got to fight you. You're covering the entire corridor. I don't think we're going through there either. 
that's fine. We're heading up to the throne room. We should probably take the small, uh, smartest route. Even the great stairway lies in ruins. But I guess we're not doing that. The usurper will be in the throne room, if he is anywhere. He must be found and punished, which means we must seek another way up. Indeed, and we will. Just checking either side for any chess, but uh, doesn't look like any. And this lady here. An Iron Maiden. Essentially exactly what you see. It's a Iron Maiden. This is actually the same model as Dora in Grey. You just don't get to see the bottom half of her. She does have that cage though on her model. Well, you might see it, but you don't, um, at least a little bit, but you don't see the whole, the whole of her. But that is another Enemy down. I think I'm going to clear out this room, mostly because I don't think there's any chests, but I just want to clear out the room because I can. Okay, that should do just fine. Yes, there is another enemy there, but I'm not going to do that. Basically, what I was doing there is just moving the counter for Pep a little bit further along. That's essentially it. And this was here well, well before, or way back when we first entered Helidor Castle. We didn't know what it was then. But... One of the roots of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil is gone. Is it still alive enough to show us things? Come, Jasper. Do your worst. If you insist. <laughs> Curse you, Hendrik. Brute strength wins the day again. <laughs> it is good to see two young men with such spirit. Huh? Mm -hmm. But I order you to cease your horseplay and greet our latest arrival. I present Princess Jade. Ah. Oh. Hmm. When you grow older, you will be the guardians of this great kingdom. I am counting on you. And now, so is she. <laughs> With my might and your wisdom, we will surely be the greatest knights this kingdom has ever seen. Long may we protect the princess and all her people. Huh? <sighs> 
Jasper, are you listening to me? What is this? Why, the shield of Heliodor, of course. Symbol of the kingdom's greatest knights. His majesty keeps it in his private chambers. If we are destined to become such men one day, one of us will surely wear it. I would very much like to see it, wouldn't you? <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? One cannot simply stroll into the king's chambers uninvited. Oh, I have my ways. I just so happen to spy a certain someone treating himself to a midnight feast in the kitchens. Huh? None other than his royal majesty. He slithered out of a secret passage behind a cupboard and set about the leftovers. That passage must lead to his chambers. <laughs> you devil! You've solved the mystery of his bulging belly. The queen will make you an earl for such a service to the kingdom. We meet in the kitchen at midnight, agreed? Agreed. Of course. The passage to the King's Chambers. But... what was that? A vision? A dream? So this is your power, Luminary? Y you are able to draw on the memories amassed within the world tree? To pry into others' pasts. Very impressive. The kitchen is on the north side of the castle, beyond the banqueting hall. Come. Well, I wouldn't say it's to pry into the past, uh, into people's pasts. It does feel a little like that, so Hendrik isn't exactly wrong. But the things it's shown us have been the things we've needed. At this most, uh, at, at this present time, um, or at it, the present time that we've seen them, I wonder if Hendrik sort of understood that there's actually a little bit of a deeper meaning in there for him. So let's go back. We need to go back to that pantry. We need to find the secret passage. It's not exactly hard to find. For sure. Because... One of these looks out of place. I did not make it here that night, you know. I was caught trying to slip out of my chambers. The king made me polish all the armor in the castle. Jasper was disgusted with me. We had a furious argument. We had so many in those days. But there was more happiness than strife. Life was simple. We had a purpose. We would have stood together in defense of Heliodor no matter what. I have treated you poorly. Forgive me. My loyalties have been tested, but not by you. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. Will you stand beside me? 
Hmm. So, up we go. Hendrik is suddenly coming round to... ...what we are. Leather cape. Wow, that's old. But then again, could we ever get into this particular room before? No. Recipe book for regal regalia. Uh, regalia. King's axes, king's coats and queen's robes. And proceedings of the 36th annual conference on Heliodorian development. Obviously, the most important thing in the book is pudding, apparently. Two more rooms down here. Uh, this is a chest that I forgot earlier, if I remember correctly. Gold bar. I... I'm not entirely certain if I did forget that, but I get the feeling I did. Because I believe I've already read the book. Adrian Geographic. Yeah, I believe I've already seen that and I've seen I've, I've cleared out this particular room as well I'm just doing it to check King Carnelian behind the throne So now that that one's done, let's go over to the other side. This one, well, is the princess's chamber, or queen's bed chamber. I think Jade, uh, originally it was Jade after the queen passed away, so yeah. But another room that we wasn't able to get into. And there's some Marquess Mittens. Little lifesavers. A whole load of rings and stones and little life-saving items, I believe. Jade, uh, Jade is a budding artist, I would guess. There is one more chest over there, but I do want to go up. Yes, we've got... I've got everything up here. Before. But there is something new, and it is not the Iron Maiden. Or the Hocus Poker. You might remember this particular sparkling spot was up there. With the Fall of Heliodor, we can now pick up Drasnian so uh, Sovereigns. Or Dr uh, Dr not Drasnian, no, Drasilian Sovereigns.
which are basically just items to sell, essentially. But uh, that's fine. And our final chest, a file of Sage's Elixir. Some MP. Do I need MP? Not really, we're good. And we're just going to ignore the High End Maidens and walk into the throne room. You have done well to make it here, old friend. And with the darkspawn in tow, no less. Oh, bravo. Jasper. Temper, temper. Brute force may have won the day once upon a time. But things are very different now. Why? Why did you give yourself to the darkness? What of our pact? We swore fealty to Heliodor. We promised to protect the kingdom, together! Why? You, of all people, ask me why? <laughs> Does something amuse you, traitor? It is I who must ask you why, surely. Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why? Hmm? Tell me why! <laughs> well, no more. I will be second best no longer. I know the truth now. Love, dreams, light, friendship, all these count for naught. All that matters is power. And the only power that matters is that of the darkness. There is one who sees the worth in me. Who deserves my fealty? Who gives me the power I crave? And all who stand in his way must be destroyed! I lost my hometown. My family. My friends, all to the dark power that you serve. I lost my faith, my purpose. Though some called me hero, I believed I was a fraud and that I was powerless to protect them. But I can protect them. I must. And there is one I must protect above all others.
It is the Luminary's duty to deliver the world from evil. And it is my duty to protect him. Jasper, you are a traitor to your kingdom, a servant of evil, and a threat to the servant of light. I sentence you to death! <laughs> really, old friend? Forgive me if I do not begin quaking just yet. Now, let us end this farce. <laughs> you will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time, it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> well met, worms! I am Tyriant, servant of the Lord of Shadows and proud bearer of the title of Spectral Sentinel. You would return the world to brightness? <laughs> Fools! <laughs> Wretches! The time of light is no more! The age of darkness looms! All is as the Lord of Shadows wills it. As long as I yet live, the dawn shall not return to this place. Now, step forward, friends. Eternal night awaits! <laughs> Your fate. Tyriant. So we're not fighting Jasper. Jasper's gone. He did his spiel. Had a cross um, staff to sword with Hendrik a couple of times. Transformed and ran off. Did you notice, though, a couple of things? You might not. <laughs> Shush, Tyrion. Uh, one of the things that you might not have noticed is what was in his chest. And it's the same thing as what is in Tyrion's eye right now. It's an orb. Tyrion is holding the purple orb. We need that back. And will you stop laughing, Tyrion? Um, great sword, oh god. He's... Yes, he has. Store science. But that, uh, that's fine because I have Great Sword God. And he does pretty much all physical. I have healing. I have spells. But there's really no point. And while he's got his guard up, I'm just going to attack normally. I don't want to risk using MP up on a possibly bo blocked attack. Just like that. And this is something you need to be careful of. 
thank you. Yes, he casts doubles. The Tyrant Sh uh, Tyrion's shadow is not really that strong. However, Tyrion can get pepped up, as can his shadow. If both are pepped up, they unleash a devastating attack, which you may not. Shush, you may not survive. So, kill the shadow as quickly as possible. It's only got around 300 hit points. So you can beat it in one unbridled blade. Thank you very much. I was going to heal this turn, but since you've done that, I can do one more unbridled blade because he doesn't have his particular guard up. Wouldn't mind a forbearance, actually. Uh, yeah, we're going to mid-hill as well. As normal, when you've got a partner who isn't in your particular team, you really want as many hits going in that direction as possible. Save on your health, save on your magic. You still have that up, we still have Greatsword Guard for one turn, so let's refresh that. And there's that. Excellent. You still have guard up, so we are going to mid heal once more. Thank you. And, well. Unbridled Blade on Tyrion's Shadow. And there's the pep up I was talking about. It's pretty basic, it just gives him a, a bit of strength, so he will do a little bit more damage with his attacks. But it's when both him and his Shadow are pepped up, that's the real danger. Thank you. He hasn't got his guard up, so this is another uh, another time for Unbridled Blade. And he is in the yellow now. And no, we really want to keep Greatsword guard up. Yes, he's in the red. But um, that particular guard is still a risk that I can't take. And there goes my pen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And good, uh, one of the good things is, now that uh, Tyrion has been pepped up, yes, his shadow may get pepped up. We don't need to worry about it anymore, because the shadow is much less dangerous, shush, than Tyrion himself. 
and well this fight is pretty much done So yeah, be careful with Shadow, be careful when they both get pepped up, that's the most important thing of this fight. You are alone, it's not as tough as we're going to see a lot of fights later. Well, we have Hendrik, but he's a little bit flaky at times. So focus, uh, focus Tyrion and, and uh, when you can take, uh, take your shots when his guard is down when his guards up you don't don't waste M mp he, because he may block it and when and when he creates a shadow using the orb in his eye yep kill that shadow quick me having unbridled blade and just wiping his and being able to wipe it out in one hit helps immensely but Tyrion defeated one of the spectral sentinels taken down ten thousand five hundred experience points not too bad <laughs> and that's level 39 can I do anything with that that's nice but I don't really actually yeah 15 attack power is actually really good or I could start working back into uh, the sword side because I would like that one just start working all just on the way up here hmm that one's not too bad either yeah let's do that One or back. Obsidian, thank the heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must return to the last bastion and see what, if anything, remains. indeed as much as we were the focus of the attack on Heliodor there was a defense being mounted back at the last bastion
I might as well pick that up on the way. So let's get back as quickly as possible. And that does mean ramming through some of the remaining monsters. If they get in the way. There is the campsite there. I could stop at it. I'm not going to because we're trying to get back to the, the last bastion as soon as possible. But we will be stopping there soon. Because I would like it on the map as a zoom spot. One thing that can't happen is, well, we can't go through this gate on the horse, so we are making the last little bit on foot. If I can go around a rock, it would help. So, let's see what happened to the last bastion. To old cobblestone. It's quiet. Very quiet. Extremely quiet. Someone. Anyone. Your Majesty. Please. Somebody. Wait. That noise. You did it, Hendrik. You saved us all. Out of my way. Let me through. Let me look at you in the daylight at last. Oh, yes, my handsome little soldier. My hero, just look at you. <laughs> oh. You set aside your differences with Hendrik, with me, and fought to bring back the light. We are forever in your debt. The world is still in a desperate state, but now we have something. We have hope. We have the Luminary. May you banish the darkness once and for all. Hendrik, my ever faithful knight. Today's victory is as much yours as anyone's. Your strength too will be needed in the struggle to free the world from evil. 
You know what you must do. The people of the Last Bastion will learn to make do without you. As I hope will I. <laughs> so please, do not hesitate. Do what you know you must. Honored Luminary, I serve you now. Though it cost me my life, I will stand beside you until the darkness is no more. Do not seek revenge. Dawn breaks in Heliodor. The first victory in the fight against the darkness is ours. Talk it out and put out your hand. Everything will work out. Thank you for teaching that to him, Amber. And chalky. So we've recovered the purple warp. Morning has returned. To, uh, to cobblestone the last bastion um sure I guess we'll go with that. I wonder if that's another one that gets changed if you have, uh, actually choose Erdrick as your character name. Erdrick, Erdrick the second. If it doesn't, that's a little bit weird, but uh, we'll go with it. We have one last thing to do though, and well it's not speak to Gemma, but yes, it's speaking to Gemma. Let's actually go speak to the king. I trust that you slept well? Or did the people perhaps not permit you the luxury of rest, eh? <laughs> oh, even better. There is no surer sign of a kingdom at peace than a high-spirited populace. Now, to more serious matters. Hendrik, there is something I wish you to have. <gasps> the shield of Heliodor. Sire. You are like a son to me. And it is a father's duty to prepare his offspring for the dangers that await them. You will have need of it, I am sure. You wear it well. The shield has always been the mark of our mightiest knights. There can be none mightier than the Luminary's own guardian. You have no complaints, I trust. No, my liege. 
I understand that you had hoped for the World Tree to guide you on your quest. Alas, it is no more. But all hope is not lost. Your father once told me that Yggdrasil was not the only sacred place in Adria. He spoke of another, a holy mountain in the south known as Pang Lai. The fate of those who dwell there is deeply intertwined with that of the luminary, or so he said. It may be mere hearsay, a conversation half remembered, but if it is true, you may yet find help in your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows. Venture west through the Mangle Grove, and you will find a valley that leads to the cost of our law. Pass through the checkpoint beyond it, and you will soon find Mount Pang Lai. It is not a road I have traveled myself. Be prepared, and may your journey be a safe one. So, being prepared for a journey to P Mount Pang Lai. Uh, I I think it's up here. There are two chests that I actually really want to pick up. There, there's a there's a fair amount of items, but they're mostly curatives, which I'm going to pick up later. But there are two chests I sort of want now because they're a little bit more. Um, useful and can I find the one that I'm thinking of here nope that's actually uh I thought it was behind the king's tent Oh, it might be down there. Um, is this it? No, that's a special medicine. Ah, there it is. 3,000 gold. Yes, there's little bits of gold all splashing around, but that's the biggest... That's the big, you know, biggest share of it. And there is one more. Look after us, Sandy. We'll be back. And there is one more in Gemma's old room, or in her old, old house. Yeah, I sort of want that mini medal. So, off to Mount Pang Lai with character number eight our last character to be picked up in this particular game Hendrik Hendrik has a lot of advantages really and a lot of ability swords Axes and great swords and shields. He is a physical powerhouse in almost all ways. 
his biggest and most important thing will likely be his hit points and his buffing spells. He he has Kabuff, he has well let's go to oh, his uh, attributes. Buff, Kabuff, Magic Barrier, and he can heal. And those item uh, those spells just sort of proceed along that those lines. Immense defense. He get uh, he gets ways to cover. Uh, he gets ways to cover you. He gets. He is a he is a tank. He is there to protect you. He is your shield. And that's likely where I'm going to go with him first. I'm not entirely certain how I'm. Uh, how I'm going to set this up, but um, I don't think I want swords. Swords, although they're really good, let's face it, swords are good in, in most things, they're not great in this particular game. Other weapons outshine them very easily. Great swords, he can wield them fairly well. He de he does get cutting edge, I believe that's unbridled blade, either that one or this one is. But you can't use them with shields, and I think that's where I'm wanting to go with them. I think I'm wanting to go shields and axes to start off with. Helm Splitter saps the target's defense sometimes. Hatchet Man is another of those critical attack ones which could be useful against, say, a Metal Slime. Scrap Metal, a better version of uh, Helm Splitter it looks like. And Parallax sometimes paralyzes an enemy. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop, uh, lose these two and the Greatsword two. And we're going to focus on shields and axes with him. So I'll have those set up before, uh, between now and the next part. He does come with a Cavalier Cleaver and a Helidorian Sword. So we will just grab those quick. And yes, the Shield of Helidor is an absolutely amazing shield. Lots of block chance, bit of, you know, quite a bit of charm, lots of defense. We are going to equip that as well. And we're pretty much going to tote him up in as much defense as possible. And uh, so, yeah. So I'll have that finished. Oh, and he also comes with the token of fealty, which is specific for him. It's a little bit of HP and a bit of charm. This is his mark as a knight. Yes, I could probably take it off, but it's his. I'm not going to take it off. So he will be ready when we come back. I might as well up that shield of Heliodor to plus three as well at this point. I should have enough for it. So next time, off to Mount Pang Lai with Hendrik to see what's up there that we can use or, or find out about to go against the Dark One. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.